Welcome to the Fiddlehub.com free lesson series. In the previous bowing lesson, I talked about why it's important to bow your fiddle in the sweet spot and keep the bow at a 90 degree angle to the strings. In this video, I'm going to start showing you how to do that. Unfortunately, if left to our own devices, most of us have a natural tendency to bow like this. At the top of the stroke here, the tip is pointing out over the left shoulder. And at the bottom of the stroke, the tip points out toward the peg head. This is not good because the bow can't help sliding up and down the strings, and the tone really suffers. So how do we combat this natural tendency? How do we get to the point where it feels natural to bow straight instead of crooked? Let's start by looking at my right shoulder here. This is where all the action is. The right shoulder is driving everything else. My upper arm is moving back and forth across my chest, and there is very little, if any, movement in my elbow and my wrist. They're pretty much locked up, and my whole arm is moving with each bow stroke. I'm moving an entire arm that's some 35 inches long to play a bow stroke that's only a few inches long. This just doesn't make any sense. Now contrast what you just saw with this. Here, I've transferred the source of the movement, the driving force for the bowing motion, all the way from my shoulder down to my wrist. I'm starting my bow stroke here at the opposite end of my arm. The wrist moves a lot. The elbow opens and closes just a little as necessary, and the shoulder doesn't move at all. The upper arm stays in one place. What you don't see is my locked elbow moving back and forth across my chest. My bow hand moves in toward my body as I bow up and down and away as I reverse direction. It doesn't move from left to right. Now when you transfer as much motion as possible away from the shoulder and down to the wrist, you make it possible to bring the bow grip away from the fiddle on a line that's perpendicular to the strings. You make it possible to bow straight instead of crooked. Obviously, if all the bow motion is going to start in the wrist and the hand, you're going to need a soft, supple grip and a relaxed, fluid wrist. As you tighten your grip, though, it's natural to lock up the wrist. So you want to keep your grip loose. How loose? Pretty loose. You want just enough grip so that you don't drop your bow. Try this. Grab your bow in your left hand out somewhere near the middle so the grip end naturally falls down. Now apply the bow grip you've already learned in the previous lesson. Now slowly relax the grip until the bow falls from your hand. The degree of hand pressure you were using just now before you dropped your bow, that's about right. That's about how much grip tension you need. Okay, you've seen the bow and the arm motion you need, and you know how to hold on to the bow so you can make that motion. Still, it's another thing to actually do it and get to the point where it feels natural. In the next video, I'll show you some techniques and practice tips to help you get there.